Hey all here OS reviews, from afar this may look like just a regular living room or coffee table. But when we move a little closer we start to realize that there is a 3D well that seems to stretch into the darkness or abyss underneath. Although this isn't the first time that we checked out a Infinity Mirror product, this is still a very convincing optical illusion using mirrors and LED lights just on a much larger scale, now acting as a furniture or a centerpiece to any room and looking quite modern and mysterious while being able to place bugs, cups, and other objects like flowers on top of it, like any other living room table. More specifically, this one measuring 23.6 inches in terms of the length and the width, and then 20 inches in terms of the height. Otherwise, it is powered by LED lights that get up to 5,000 lumens just because of the mirrors in here, and there are four LED bars that are stuck onto the walls of the table. Although, if this is the only source of lighting in the entire room, it can still be a little tricky if you're using it for reading, for instance. So I consider it more as just an accent light or a mood lighting piece. However, it just makes it look a little bit more cool, especially in darker environments that we'll see in a moment. LEDs, of course, are very energy efficient. In fact, the lighting here is operated entirely using a USB switch, so you can pop it onto any wall adapter or even a power bank can supply enough juice to turn on the lights here, the cord stretching up to 2 meters in terms of length. What I will say is the color temperature is set at this one mode, so that is one thing which I think maybe in a future iteration they could consider adding an RGB lights instead that could make it even more customizable since right now it is at this default white color still looks quite nice but say if you want to make it colder or warmer have it flash or strobe those are effects which are missing at the moment and it is simply just plug and play turn it on and you're ready to go so there isn't a companion app either where you can again further customize those lights now this also comes in two variants aside from the infinite well version that has that ladder that stretches down there's also a astronaut moon version which is quite playful Lights are replaced by this single moon which is illuminated and you get a little astronaut figure which seems to be free falling through infinity bending the laws of time and space. It's really cool and just reminds me of a passage of a science fiction novel. Otherwise like most furniture pieces it does require a bit of assembly so it comes in a cardboard box like this weighing 66 pounds so it may require maybe two people to maneuver and taking apart the cardboard box inside you'll find all of the panels of the four sides of the well quote unquote the base as well as the two pieces of glass one layer is just the top and another one sits pretty much close to the bottom of the coffee table you also get that wood ladder which is partial and you just stick it on using some 3m stickies that are included in addition to the four led lights that you also stick onto the walls of the quote unquote well plus you get a screwdriver in addition to the screws required for assembly. The instructions are fairly straightforward and everything is labeled in terms of step one, two, three, even on the pieces themselves, there's tape. The entire process, I would say, took me around 20 minutes to 30 minutes to fully complete, so not too bad at all. Wipe down any fingerprints on the surface and you're good to go. In the finished result, we do have just a wood finish on the outside, which is painted black. It comes in just this one color, at least at the moment. It almost looks like a modern art piece from a contemporary museum with its perfect boxy shape. Though again, perhaps future variants may include additional colors, such as a warmer wood grain on the outside that could also be neat to consider. And by the way, this is what it looks like with the lights turned completely off. Yes, the glass on top is also tempered and tainted to be almost pitch black, so you can't really see what's going on until you turn it on. So further giving it this very mysterious look from afar, even when you don't have it activated. And objects that you place onto the top of the table don't actually reflect inside. So it has to be actually in the cube itself to have that tunnel effect. So you can still place objects here. It almost looks like it's hovering when it's turned on. But just a closer peek of the kind of build, you can tell that that's the four LED bars, which are basically stuck onto the four corners, creating that infinity tunnel effect, and also that ladder, which is stuck onto one of the walls. The illusion becomes stronger once all the lights are dimmed. Let's take a look at that. And there we go. It becomes brighter, and you're able to see almost more reflections of the tunnel in terms of levels going down into infinity with some of the ambient light dimmed. So if you do have it in a really bright room, for example, in the early morning and sunlight is hitting on it, it may be a little harder to get that full illusion. Of course, the illusion is partially broken once you tell someone how it works, as well as if you're looking at it super closely, but I think it is for the most part good enough. And here's just a closer look down, again, staring into the abyss, as well as taking a look at the table from multiple angles that 
illusion effect pretty much persists 360 degrees no matter where you are looking at it, even here with the ladder side kind of pointing downwards. So pretty cool, I have to say, in terms of how this thing is engineered and designed. With that being said, it is kind of a static piece other than turning it on, hiding the well, and then activating the well, that is, compared to, again, the kinetic sand table, which is constantly maybe creating new artwork, which is why, again, I think having maybe some type of RGB light version in the future could make it even more dynamic. Removing that top layer, we can tell that the illusion is not quite as convincing. In fact, it's much more shallow. Really on the base, there's just a piece of mirror that's reflecting what it sees. So it does require that second mirror placed on top to then reflect inside and create more of that depth effect. Having one mirror doesn't do the trick. But without that tempered glass, which is tinted, it becomes a lot brighter as well in terms of the lights that you can see. And you can also start placing objects inside. And that top glass is a double-sided mirror. So on the top, which is tinted, you can pretty easily see through it. But on the other side is where the mirror effect is apparent which completes the illusion once you pop it on with that bottom mirror in place. Now that we have both mirrors, we can see this infinite reflection of falling ping pong balls into this deep well, casting this infinite falling momentum as we stare down into it. This is some degree of customization, I suppose. So even though the lights themselves don't change color, it doesn't really draw, you can, again, place different objects and decorate the table and produce your own effect or illusion depending on the living room and what types of objects that you want to try popping inside. So that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this infinity mirror coffee table. Just a, again, very cool conversation starter that kind of blends the boundaries between art, tech, and also a furniture piece here as well because of the larger dimensions of this unit. You are paying a bit of a premium here for the unique design and that novelty, but if you are looking for something that's really unique, act as kind of a small lighting piece, then this might be worth considering. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Optical Illusion Coffee Table.